welcome to episode number 728 of Hard Factor. Thank you for cheating on the news with us. I'm Will. We got Wes, Mark, Pat. It is Thursday, July 15th, 2021. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Will. Thank you for bringing us in, Will. Breathe it in. Yeah, no problem. (laughs) Uh, Reminder, tomorrow, Friday, July 16th, is a huge day for Hard Factor. Download the Green Room app by Spotify. Get the app. Follow the host. It's the same social handles as always. Uh, And the first show will be slightly different, Will. It is. How's it? Yeah, because well, you had to use your first and last name. So use like Mark Borgie is how you search for me. Will Smith is how you search for Will. Pat, Cass, right. Pat Cassidy is how you search for Pat. And I don't know how you search for Wes because I don't think he's created his account. Yeah, yet. I have. Yeah, I have. Okay. It's, uh, I think I think it's just I did uh, something creative where I did like Hard Factor is my first name and then Wes is my last name. Okay. Oh wow! So oh, that's gonna work out. Yeah, also for Hard Factor. Also, our show. handles should be at Hard Factor and then first <laughs> name. So. Uh, potentially you, you should be i know mine is so get that app get that app follow the hosts and then you will be notified when we go live and it will be at 2 p.m eastern on friday july 16th and that also, show that show will be scheduled today so you'll even be able to see it i think you can follow the show so you'll get notifications when it goes live as well mm, yes mm-hmm. get in there uh also the patreon uh trivia night is also friday july 16th Fuck. this friday so gonna be fun We'll see if uh, my team, Will's team, can retain the crown. Um, Probably not. Well, I, we did pretty good last time, so yeah, I've, I've got some confidence. I tripped at the goal line, so we'll see. We, did this, we, yes, we did this yesterday. Yeah, we had. Yeah, you guys chill. Um, are we doing four <laughs> teams? <laughs> are we doing four teams again? Or well, I think what? Bubba Bubba's team was involved too. I think or something. We'll like see. That. We'll see what happens. Oh, okay. oh, really? Because. Well, yeah, I think we did four teams last time. Hmm. I don't. Was it? Maybe yeah, I think Pat got fourth. Oh, you're saying? That, um, oh, okay. Yeah, Pat really got fourth. Uh, Pat got, got fourth. fourth. Uh, yeah. Third, he got fourth. Yeah. Okay. Yes. yes. Ouch. That's what I'm yeah. Oh, I see. That's what you were saying. So it was Mark that, that tripped was, at the goal line. That was the point. It was, it was Mark <laughs> not, that tripped at the goal line. Not no, I, I, we were steady Eddie second place. Just you know, got the last oh. question right. Just took second. How'd you going. go from first to fourth? Pat went from first to fourth. Yeah. Oh, what's what's up in the news today? <laughs> yeah, let's start the news. <laughs> All right. Wasn't there a Godzilla? Ready? Wasn't there a Godzilla question or something like that? Pat, Pat <laughs> thought Captain America was celebrating his hundredth anniversary in Japan. No, I was just kidding. I, I know. <laughs> he fought World War Two. That was one of our enemies. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. It's time for a cup of coffee in the big time. Yeah. Cup of coffee in the big time. Okay. Up first holidays for july 15th and it is be a dork day so be a dork there you go you pat <laughs> <laughs> call pat a dork now <laughs> pat's it's getting you fourth place in. dork <laughs> <laughs> fucking loser <laughs> fucking dork. Uh, uh get to know your customer day so that's the third Thursday of each quarter, actually. But not too close. <laughs> That's such a what bullshit a, corporate day. What an annoying day. Yeah. You have, to, you, you have to do it. You have to do it four times a year. Okay. Uh, I so love so many, so many sexual harassment cases start today. Oh yeah. I just want to get to know you a little mm-hmm. bit better. Mm-hmm. You got time to chat? Can you rap for a second with me? My boss said you should totally come over. <laughs> I love horses day. Uh, National give something away day. National gummy worm day. National Pet Fire Safety Day, National Respect Canada Day. Interesting. National mm. Tapioca Pudding Day, Orange Chicken Day, St. Swithin's Day, and uh, World Youth Skills Day. What a shitty group of things. I don't feel this way about Canada because yeah. I'm a big Canada guy, but um, no one Canada? that deserves respect uh, has right. to have a day declaring absolutely that correct respect. That's correct. Sure. Yeah. So Respect me day. You'll never be respected. That's mm-hmm. Rod, Roddy Dangerfield has that day. Mm-hmm. I get no respect. Yeah. Thanks. See you tomorrow. That's what I'd say. <laughs> Today it's yours, but tomorrow back to normal. Mm-hmm. What are you That's gonna do true. for Dork Day, Pat? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. Uh... <laughs> Wouldn't know. Yeah. No thanks, bro. Yeah. Uh, Today in history, July 15th, um, I've only got one because it's kind of funny. 
you'll hear in a second. But in 1965, the Mariner 4 space probe launched uh, by NASA got the first ever images of the surface of Mars. And people found out on July 15th, 1965, that Mars was a desolate wasteland for sure for the first time. So it must have been pretty disappointing. Um, and actually, uh, I fucked up yesterday. I gave some of the 15th to the 14th. That's why the 14th was so good, actually. Uh, so uh, Die Hard actually came out on July 15th. Also, so did Twitter. But it's a happy mistake because ooh. we get to send in the car. Send in the car. Send in the car. That means yeah. we get to watch Die Hard again today. Right. Yeah. So if you watched Die Hard 1 yesterday, just watch Die Hard 2 today. But well, also, if you skip Die Hard 1 yesterday, just watch Die Hard 1 to today. How far ahead are you planning out these days in history? Because how did that how did that happen? It was it was over scrolling incident. <coughs> Went down to the next day mm. accidentally. Yeah, it happens. It's a, it's a dangerous page. Yeah, you got to watch out when you're prepping yeah. a cup of coffee. It's a slippery mistress. <coughs> I was swallowed my water wrong there. <coughs> okay, <laughs> let's move it on to the right. top five stories. <laughs> oh, wait. Number five. This uh, is smooth. Speak, speaking of yeah. Twitter, <laughs> speaking of Twitter, over here. <laughs> Twitter that was actually released on July 15th, uh, they finally got rid of the god awful abomination that is fleets. Um, so the absolutely useless feature will be removed for good on August 3rd. Uh, Twitter says they're sorry or you're welcome. Mostly you're welcome. Uh, but don't worry, you can still just watch Instagram stories, which are the exact same thing which was originally stolen from Snapchat oh so long ago. Uh, What's the point anymore? I, it, it, okay, this started happening, I want to say, like a year ago, maybe two years ago, where every social media platform forgot who they were and then started copying off the paper next to them because they were so concerned. Like, just be a, be a standout. Be thing, yeah. you, you, you can't all have the fucking same features. Like, they all they want do, the same though. features. They well, do now. What's all the point? Them. What's the point of you? Why don't you Twitter's, stand out? Twitter realizing they fucked up now. What are you afraid of? Yeah. Maybe, maybe to look internally. We're all we're all so so fucked. We did our social call yesterday with Eric from the Philippines. Shout out yeah. our social guy and our, our our helper there. Um, he was talking about how YouTube now has shorts, right? And and like they're getting shorter and shorter, which is just YouTube integrating TikToks essentially, and you can upload short videos. Yeah, people's attention spans are so short and they're so addicted TikTok now has warnings out there they're like it's like when you play nintendo too much they're like oh you gotta go outside you gotta try on nintendo TikTok like pays influencers to come on and be like you've been on TikTok too long you really need to get off TikTok. like mm -hmm. we're all we're all so fucked Dude, i haven't like, we're really all so fucked i didn't start to really get into the TikTok thing until literally like a couple months ago How's and that i am now? i am officially yeah. addicted yeah yeah Very it's high. terrible Oh, we're all going to die in car accidents watching have YouTube a, here, shorts. Here you go. Here you go. Have a new baby. It'll unaddict you from all of them. Okay. Uh, also, Fleetwood Mark, are you sad? Because you were the only one who was really gung-ho on the fleets when they well, released them. Only because that name kicks ass. I, I stopped doing fleets about two weeks into it. Yeah. I also stopped. Uh, I only fleeted send in the car every right. day. I stopped that a few months ago. Maybe, you know. That fleet sucked. Get them out you, of here. You were consistent with that. That was, that was a quarter show of my day. Impressed. I yeah. did it for like about four months straight. And then yeah. I was like, you know what? <laughs> Fleets are so fucking stupid. I don't have time to do this. And the baby, you know, whatever. Okay. Moving on. Number four in the cup of coffee, the PRO Act, which is, I don't know what it stands for, but it's, uh, it would have never passed the Senate as a standalone bill. But now it's apparently at least partially going to be included in the $3.5 trillion. Uh, budget reconciliation package that biden is seeking to pass along with the 580 billion infrastructure plans so those are the is two this, things is this a marijuana right is this marijuana no not at all oh, no no oh. the pro, you, the say, pro, did you no. say the pro act that's, that's the oh. more act more act? Yeah. Yeah. more act is yeah it's marijuana the pro act is good news for unions and overall bad news for business owners and employers it changes uh who can be considered an independent contractor and uh, would potentially end right to work laws in 27 states that make union dues optional and they weaken uh, unions in general. Um, so it would also prevent you from permanently firing an employee while they're on strike. And it would prevent any uh, mandatory anti-union training from employers. So it was something that wouldn't have passed, you know, uh, the Senate by itself. So now they're including a lot of it in the reconciliation package. But again, because it's a budget, they're going to have to like mark it up and negotiate. So it's not going to pass in its like full form in the budget. But this is the 
starting point that the Dems are negotiating from for the pro act. Yeah. Interesting. Did you have anything about marijuana in in your coffee today? I saw some stuff today about uh, Schumer is introducing a bill in the Senate to federally decriminalize marijuana today. Not your oh, actual nice. coffee. The, the segment will. That's yeah, nice. No, I do not. I do not. That did not trend. But that's okay. good for Schumer if he's yeah. if he's trying to decriminalize weed. They That'd should nice. take it. They should take it off the schedule. I would assume that means taking it off yes. schedule one, right? Yes, it would. Yes. Okay. What That's would happen, Will, if Biden, let's say, um, and we know how you feel about Biden. Oh, what? if he legalized weed? No, I, I, I'd, I'd be happy about it. I, th- I don't, I don't think that he's the guy to do it because he's been so anti-weed his whole career. But I'd be, ha- I'd be so happy if he, if he legalized weed. I just don't think he's the one to do it. Okay. I dare, I dare you to, Joe. <laughs> don't think he will. Uh, number three. Lindsey Graham will have no Chick-fil-A slander at all. He tweeted uh, this on Wednesday. He said, I want everyone in South Carolina and across America to know I have Chick-fil-A's back. I hope <laughs> I hope we don't have to, but I will go to war for the principles Chick-fil-A stands for. Great food, great service, great values. God <laughs> bless Chick-fil-A. <laughs> So, me, me thinks the lady doth protest <laughs> too much. Uh, did, wait, did you say he's the senator from Georgia? South Carolina. South Carolina. Oh, yeah, yeah, not the state Chick Fil A is based. Oh, interesting. Well, he still loves fried chicken, nonetheless. He, he's reacting to Notre Dame students who are protesting Chick Fil A being added to the Notre Dame campus, which is a big time snowflake move. Uh, most m- most of the replies uh, to Lindsay's or commentary about Lindsay's uh, outbursts were about him being potentially gay, allegedly, uh, yeah. which w- were very uncreative. But I did like this one meme that I found uh, at Oliver Willis on Twitter said. One, two, three, four. I declare a chicken war, which is basically <laughs> what he's doing. I, I, it, that his post, his actual post, remind, had a uh, big time vibes of uh, that guy Purdue. It reminded me of like, my gay black ass will be the first in line <laughs> to Chick Fil A. That's yeah. all I was thinking the whole time. Exactly. How much yeah. Chick Fil A do you think Lindsay actually eats? I bet not a ton. Not a ton. I mean, I'm sure some, but not a ton. Yeah, a little bit. He's, what if he's so little. Guy? He's so little. It would run right through him. You know. He's been big. No, he yo-yos. I was watching. I was watching. So some, short. He's so watching short. some Lindsey Graham tape earlier today, and he's he's a, he's got a yo-yo. He's you he watching could, the highlight reel. He could be on Fat Boy Summer a lot of the time. Yeah. Yeah. He's just it's tiny the, though. It like, depends on what year you hit him. Nugget guy. Yeah. Nuggets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a Polynesian sauce guy. Yeah. Um, number two in the cup of coffee, Richard Sherman was arrested on burglary domestic violence charges. I know that's a very strange charge. Uh, yeah. at his, I'll explain. It was at his in-law's house in Seattle on early Wednesday. It was a very rough scene, uh, 2 a.m., when the cops got called while Sherm was trying to break into his wife's parents' house. Um, and then he got like caught on their property, like trapped by them. When the cops told him that he was under arrest, he tried to get loose, like run away. The cops put a canine on him, and now he's under arrest. And I've actually got the 911 call from his wife right here. What are you reporting? Um, I, I, I need I need officers to my house now. My husband is drunk and blue. What's the stop? Stop. Um, What's the address? Are there any weapons? Stop. We, are there we any, took we took to no. Me. There's no gun. I'm I'm saying there are no weapons, ma'am. There are, no, there are no weapons. You need to stop interrupting me so I can get the information I need to get officers expedited. I need oh, officers shit. here now. What's he doing that that you think he's gonna harm he's, himself? He's being he's he's being aggressive. He has sent text messages. I took the I took the keys out. They're in your car. He's trying to leave now in the house. He's being aggressive. He's wrestling with my uncle. He's threatening to kill himself. He has sent text messages to people saying he's going to hang himself. He and he's saying that if the police show up, that so please don't shoot is what I'm asking. Is it been physical with anybody there? You said he's trying to fight yes, your uncle. Yes, it has. Yes, it has. How has it been physical? He just tried to fight him. He put, it's, a, it's a 2016 black Mercedes. Richard, please stop. Richard, please stop. Please stop. Is that a sedan SUV? It's, a, it's just a black sedan Mercedes SUV. Okay. He's not going to be able to get out the gate. I cut it off. What do you mean you cut it off? I cut the gate. We live behind it. It's, it's Richard Sherman. Like, ma'am, I, this is like a f- emergency. I need officers hey, here now. Hey, to me. I'm handling this. You need to stop telling me that. Oh, my God. Fire her. 
Oh my yeah. god, <laughs> what a bitch. dispatcher. That dispatcher fucking sucks. That's a scary call. Like, get to know your customer day, lady. Uh yeah, fuck exactly. that. Fuck that nine. This match is a hard job, but she she had way too much sass. Fuck her. Why does that always happen when there's a nine one call related to a famous person? It, 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 like I was like, oh, we're gonna make it through without them being like it's Richard Sherman. But at the end, she was like, it's Richard Sherman. It always yeah. happens. I don't think she was doing a bad job of describing what was going on. No, though. she was fine. In fact, mm. like she was answering the questions, and lady's like, you need to calm down. Well, yeah, fire um, her. Um, well, and the scary reason, stuff though. With very scary. Stuff. It's very scary. The, the reason that uh, Ashley was so concerned, uh, Richard Sherman's wife. Uh, turns out that Sherm was fucking his car up all over the place on the way to the house. Probably very boozed up. Um, according to the officers said he smelled he also the, the 911 call you could hear she was saying drunk um, and he also uh, crashed into a cement barrier on the highway before ditching his car in a nearby parking lot uh, so he also may get tagged with a DUI and hit and run on top well, of uh, he probably should based on that call he probably should get tagged with a few things well, yeah. yeah but yeah. the burglary I hate this about our legal system like it's because he damaged their front door. I know. Charge with you. I don't throw the the, yeah. the burglary. Is the DA like a fucking Rams fan? Like, don't, don't charge <laughs> right. him with burglary. The burglary is a little odd, but he'll buy all the houses in the neighborhood. He doesn't need to burgle them. And you look, depending on what happens, he's probably, you know, I don't think he's going to serve any jail time or anything like that, but they should probably get, get him into like AA they, or something. They initially denied, denied uh, his he bail. Will. Rough yeah. night for him. His family and his wife just want to bail him out. Nobody was hurt. Um, right, but like so. in order to get like no serious charges, he probably is going to have to take some. Classes. Yeah, well, he's going to have to take some steps. Hopefully, Richard yeah. bounces back from that. That's a that's a pretty that's scary. bad low. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, get some help, Richard. Uh, and mm -hmm. number one in the cup of coffee today is hashtag Free Britney. Uh, Los Angeles Superior Court Judge Brenda Penny on Wednesday approved uh, Spears to hire former federal prosecutor Matthew Rosengart as uh, her new representative. So uh, big news. Uh, the ruling was cheered by fans outside the courthouse. Uh, there was like, I don't know, you guys saw the videos, tons of free Britney shit going on in L.A. and D.C. Um, and although her new lawyer, Rosengart's initial request to end the conservatorship immediately, it was rejected. You know, he's like, he's the new lawyer. He's like, end it now. She's like, not yet. Uh, he's on the case now. Um, and Brittany uh, spoke for the second straight court hearing uh, before she broke down again. Uh, you know, so why is it so difficult to just and this conservatorship Be because because you have to like demonstrate her mental capacity so this Brittany is such a bad le like this is such a bad loophole what was that movie that came out this year that was really good with a woman who uh and who, she conned people her the job was like, gone girl yeah who took yeah the, it was she, just she just conserved promising people. promising yeah. young woman or? yeah yeah no that was the one she got fake getting drunk i think and then she, uh, yeah. a different one but similar yeah. um she she it was with uh the, the little peter dinklage was the was yes. the mob guy mm -hmm. and she she just literally conservatored people was he and then believable as a mob character? no no it wasn't he no. wasn't very good no. i wouldn't no. think so but but like it's just it called out this stupid system I care thing a thing where you could you can I care a lot. I you can totally just get okay. people in the conservatorship and they're completely fucked and, and beholden oh, to you. To totally, totally. And, yeah. and and like uh because of this is going like so crazy in the news, Jamie doesn't run the conservatorship anymore. Uh it's like some other person now, you talk hired. about her dad not her sister who's also named jamie right jamie lynn. Weird. Jamie yeah, her lynn, dad yeah. jamie doesn't run it anymore he ran it for 11 years 11 of the 13 years but now there's a new lady i guess that runs it and they're like fighting over each other like of why it's so bad because you know Ugh. she's talking about the iud's and everything anyways the reason though mark it's tough to get out of these so rosengart and her now have to convince this judge and everybody else in the legal system that she's totally capable of managing her own life before they'll let her out of the conservatorship um, and so, you know, hopefully she gets that someday soon, but it just takes it, a long time in these It cases. should just be so much harder to get into a conservatorship and so much easier to get out, in my opinion. Yeah, it seems like it. And that's what the hashtag Free Britney movement is trying to draw some light to. I think I saw some guy that's saying, that, you know, thousands of people are affected by this. Oh, yeah. Uh, but Britney's just the highest profile. Man, case. I bet. I bet. Now that I'm thinking about it, I bet for entertainers it's probably easier to get them into a conservatorship because of power of attorney, because they give up power of attorney as part time, of their right? daily yeah. life. Mm -hmm. They're her dad guaranteed that power of attorney over guaranteed. Yeah. Before, yeah. before this, it's tough.
Very just take her, you know, they could just take her uterus out and then she'll, you know, they're like, not having cool. kids. Shit's fucked up. They were like forcing her to be up. on birth control. They forced IUD. Yeah. yeah she's well, if she's uh, if she's right having now. a kid, she's not gonna be on stage for like five months. You know, right? Mm-hmm. That's Gotta that's millions lost. Selling. Yeah. Yeah. Can't milk that cow anymore. Oof. Yeah. That is rough. Uh, definitely hashtag free Britney. Hopefully she gets it soon. And that's today's cup of coffee in the big time, which was brought to you today by Hard Factors CBD partner sponsor caliper cbd powder i love caliper cbd it chills me out anytime i need a little relaxation just pop a powder pack in my drink or a swift stick uh they're both fantastic i love it all i got them all right here uh it's fast acting guaranteed to chill you out caliper cbd powder is the only clinically proven fast acting cbd caliper delivers 30 times more CBD in the first 30 minutes versus CBD oil. Get all the benefits of CBD in just 10 minutes. Some CBD oils can take over an hour to absorb, which is bullshit. Caliper hits the tongue and you're feeling good right away. Uh, Precisely 20 milligrams in each each packet, always THC free. Feel better without the high. No weird taste, no oily residue. Mixes easily into any food or drink. Uh, All natural, vegan, non-GMO. Free of fillers, added chemicals, and artificial flavors. Get 20% off your first order. When you use promo code FACTOR at tricaliper.com slash FACTOR, you can try Caliper CBD risk-free for 30 days. If you don't love it, they'll give you a full refund, which you won't need. That's tricaliper.com slash FACTOR. Don't forget promo code FACTOR for 20% off your first order. Nice. I have a double cop cop story for you. Both are pretty wild. So uh, first up, my worst nightmare happened to a Brooklyn police officer at the 61st Precinct Station House on Coney Island Avenue in Sheepshead Bay. Uh, he was attacked by a giant spider. That's my second worst nightmare. Um, oh. My first worst nightmare is that his DoorDash driver stuck his dick in his food. That's Ooh. it. That's my worst nightmare. Every time I order food, I say a little prayer. I say, Lord, please don't let my delivery driver shove mm. his cock in my food. Uh, <laughs> Man, that's why I like ordering uh uber eats mcdonald's because they seal the bag real good yeah yep. yep. restaurants that seal the bag that's a that's a very very big upgrade yeah Dick people are always like, people are always like secure the bag i'm like no seal it. seal the bag seal, seal the bag it. um yeah i don't know if this cop forgot to say that prayer or or what happened but facebook user so certified uh who moonlights as a doordash driver posted a video to his facebook that showed him digging his bare hands into a chipotle order for a brooklyn cop as well as leaving him a handwritten note that's what the video is he's putting a little handwritten note in underneath the lettuce and that uh handwritten note said hope that dick tastes good bitch Ooh, that is rude that is a rude prank um yeah and I'd imagine that the police don't take kindly to penises in their Chipotle. So I would imagine not. This no, guy, they don't like it. Yeah. 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 The caption of the Facebook post said, you know, I'm about to violate the shit out of this order. 61st precinct. I dreamed of moments <laughs> like this. Uh, it continued on to say, God, you've been so good to me. Like, I don't know how to repay you. <laughs> <laughs> he was so excited. real he's, yeah he's so excited what an idiot. The, po- the, po- <laughs> the post and note were riddled with misspellings but the chipotle meal was riddled with pubes uh so you know it looked, uh, oh god yeah. he like knew that the, he was he was like i'm gonna go out swinging i'm yeah. just like if i'm gonna go out i'm gonna go out it was like a once in a lifetime a moment for him <laughs> <laughs> we put it up online yeah yeah, uh, he, he posted it. He posted uh, it. He was obviously get, yeah. fired. Yeah, he was obviously fired by DoorDash and is almost certainly going to get arrested. Uh, the 61st Precinct issued a statement saying they were investigating the order and said it wasn't immediately clear whether the cop for whom the order was intended sampled the food before realizing it had been tampered with, which translates to <laughs> he licked down, he licked the plate clean. Oh, he, yeah, ate he, that, ate he ate all he got, that dick food. He got yeah. to the note, yeah. Yeah, he got to the note. Uh, that guy forever. He will. <laughs> the one thing this guy did do is that he got that guy like forever at that precinct. He's called Dick Breath or something. Yeah. Oh, like, like, yeah. Forever. Do you come forward? You know, I mean, what I mean? no, well, everybody knows who. Who's well, Chipotle well, it's even worse than that. Anytime he's eating, uh, someone's going to run over with their actual dick and just put it on his food and be like, hang yeah. on. Endless yeah. pranks now. You want, any, you want any condom, you want any condiments? Yeah. Chipotle. Chipotle Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, DoorDash drivers in the area are furious as stunts like this take money away from them too. DoorDash driver identified only as Deborah said, 
I'm glad he got fired, whoever he is. It makes it bad for us, then we'll be out of work, and a lot of us rely on this job to pay our bills and feed our family. When one person spoils it by shoving their dick in someone's food, it's like all of us shoved our dicks in the food. One dirty dick down ruins it for the rest of us. Um, She's right. Classic spin on the bad apple phrase there. <laughs> That's not a real quote. Did, <laughs> what, is, what is true here, Mark? How did, how did they know it was a cop? What are, like it was because it was going to the 61st precinct. Oh, because of the precinct, right? Yeah, and he That's posted what, yeah. it. I mean, it could have been a cop. It also could have been like not a cop. Too. It could have been like a yeah, someone that worked. The oh, like somebody that just was like taking phone calls. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, but you know, for cops, they were taking phone calls. Uh, so that's gross. <laughs> yeah, let's, you're so guilty by association. That's right. the taste, love the taste of that dick. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's take it over to the second cop story, which is ha has a happier ending than someone eating a secret jizz burrito. Uh, <laughs> well, they get the guy. They get the, they, they get the dick guy. Did he jizz yeah, him, or was it just? Was it just did he wriggle his dick around in there for a while? Well, the video only shows him putting the note in, oh, but the note said, "I hope you enjoy the dick, you bitch." Uh, and then I shoved <laughs> you, for, and then his quote is so thanking God that he was able to tamper with the food. So I mean, you can imagine, <laughs> you can only imagine what the hell he did to that food. Yeah, I think he just touched it. Like I think he just leaned over in the car real quick yeah, and I'm just pretty sure it. he put his asshole in it and his balls. Mm -hmm. and it didn't look that messed dick. up. That was that was didn't uh, look stirred to me. Okay, I mean, yeah, how maybe deep, he, how deep are you maybe shoving maybe, your dick in this thing? It's something you're, you're, you're right. Maybe maybe he deep. totally got totally got fired and 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 ruined his life over just <laughs> not even really doing anything to it. Sure. No, I'm I'm saying I don't, it didn't look like he uh, he he did like it was it I'm was sure still, it was yeah. still in his possession. At yeah. So point, Wes, so if you if, like if you're 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 not <laughs> if you're gonna fuck with somebody's food with your dick. You're you're gonna leave like a dick hole. Oh, and absolutely. Yeah. They know. Yeah. They know. They're gonna <laughs> they know. I think Wes is in denial because you know it's quite possible we've had dick burritos before. You know, uh, sewing it up with guacamole, trying to get that paste out there. I, you know, this guy's life is not ruined. He he lost his job at DoorDash, but but for him to really go, he's down, going to jail. You think? Yeah. Oh, the cops aren't gonna. They're gonna. They're gonna prosecute to the fullest extent. They're gonna yeah, they're find something. Not because the guy who ate the burrito does not oh, want to be covered. Oh, he's coming forward. He swallowed the oven. He ate the whole burrito, bro. He's <laughs> he's going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's going to jail uh, in Ohio state trooper Charles Hoskin had to perform the Heimlich maneuver to save the life of a driver he pulled over uh, and spooked for pulling him over in a traffic stop any idea what the guy swallowed uh, like uh, he spooked him mm -hmm. so, uh, like uh, a bag of thing of meth drugs right you, yeah. assume, you assume drugs right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah drugs good, good drugs that's right. He super troopered himself, but the drug he swallowed wasn't shrooms or something heavier, like like Will mentioned. It was good old fashioned flower marijuana, uh, the sticky icky. He uh, H Hoskins dash cam footage captured Hoskin uh, realizing the shirtless man he pulled over was choking. So he asked him as he leaned in, "Are you choking?" And then he got him out of the car quickly and performed the Heimlich maneuver on him outside. Here's a quick clip. Uh, we can kind of there he is. In the Heimlich on the side of the road. Yeah. The shirt is, it, it comes, it's oh, there it goes. Spit, he spit it up. Listen, okay. this is like barely any weed. <laughs> he said, the officer, and he goes, what did you swallow? And he goes, grandma weed. And then the officer yeah. goes, the officer goes, sit down, you asshole. Uh, because because the <laughs> Haskin was furious when he found out it was just a grandma weed. Uh, he went on to say, uh, Yo, it's a minor misdemeanor. Do you want to die over a misdemeanor? Because uh, weed is decriminalized in Ohio. So that what was, if it was really a diversion. What if they like had like eighty thousand meth, like ecstasy pills in his trunk? But he, what if he swallowed sure some other stuff that, right? and then he left the marijuana up top just to spit out the marijuana? Maybe that would mm. be a good distraction. More of yeah. a case of this guy doesn't keep up with current events. He has right. no this idea. This guy's that just a fucking idiot. Yeah. Also, who he tries panicked. to just like eat weed? If you're gonna get rid of weed, if you're gonna ditch weed anywhere, you know, I don't think he, unless it's a little bit, you could eat a joint. But weed it is very, gram. is very like gritty, and it, it'll dry the shit out of your mouth. Like cinnamon, you can't, like swallowing <laughs> cinnamon. Yeah, uh, you that, can't really yeah. chew it up too good, especially uh, if it's good. The Ohio State Patrol had a little fun at that guy's expense, too, who they haven't identified him because he's embarrassed. Uh, they said, don't try and swallow a bag of drugs prior to getting pulled over in an attempt to keep a trooper from finding them. They no, but you should, online. though. You should, though, depending on the drug. 
No, I, I agree. Uh, and look, on, it, that's that's not good <laughs> advice, legal advice from the well, cops. Don't there. don't trust the cops because you know to, to right. for that they want to find stuff. it. You gotta you gotta hide your drugs from them. Uh, look, we've got a bigger problem here though. People are going to keep swallowing bags of marijuana until it's federally legalized. Uh, do mm. those po- do, what do these politicians want a bunch of people to choke to death on their dime bags because they're gonna? It's going to continue to happen. Mm-hmm. This they is will. this is not a this is not a rare occurrence. I imagine they're. Uh, their lives are on their hands. How Senate, many shirtless guys Congress. need to die? I, I we all know a guy who used to roll with a bottle of water at all times in his car so that he, he could would swallow drink. flower marijuana if the cops rolled up behind him. <laughs> you think he practiced? Really? Do you think he we, practiced at home? You guys all know this guy. Uh, yeah. I think yeah. yeah, he's like shoving saltines in his mouth. Yeah, uh, I think he practice. Yeah, it's 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 like swinging. Bad plan. I don't think he ever had to execute it though, right? Yeah, it's not bad. But yeah, no, he was he was you know, ready. He was at the ready. It's a terrible yeah. plan. He didn't have to execute it that right. I don't. I don't, know. I don't know, but he yeah always. Well, the nineties right, in so. Virginia, it wasn't just a misdemeanor if you had more than. It's true with what he was carrying. So it was a little bit different back then. Let's knock it off with the harsh weed laws. But hey, whatever. We'll see, I guess. Um, You know what, though? I know I know something that is going to happen this year. I don't know about the weed stuff, but this year I want to give my wife the perfect anniversary gift outside of the gift of living with me every day, which is lucky for her. She really deserves another nice gift. Uh, And I'm awful at gift giving. So luckily I discovered paintyourlife.com bank error in my favor. If you want to give a truly meaningful gift, you've got to try paintyourlife.com. You get a professional handcrafted portrait created from any photo or or combination of photos at a truly affordable price. You can choose from a team of world-class artists and work with them until every detail is perfect. It's super user-friendly platform. It lets you order a custom-made hand-painted portrait uh, in less than five minutes. And and it's quick. Uh, You got, you'll, once you work through it, you'll get the painting shipped to your house for free within like three weeks so pretty quick turnaround um if you got birthdays anniversaries uh, any any sort of things like this coming up you only need about a three and a half week window to have it safely at your home um yeah so i don't know it makes the perfect gift i'm, I'm telling you the a hard factor hosts have gotten a few paintings ourselves and mm. they're they're magnificent the process was so easy another one honestly yeah. The result is always better than the expectation, even, and, and you have a pretty high expectation when you're ordering painting. So that says a lot. Very affordable. At paintyourlife.com, there's no risk. If you don't love the final painting, your money is refunded, guaranteed. And right now is a limited time offer. Get 20% off your uh, off your painting. That's right, 20% off and free shipping of a painting. To get this special offer, text the word FACTOR to 64000. That's FACTOR to 64000. Text FACTOR to 64000. Paint your life. Celebrate the moments that matter most. Terms apply. Available at paintyourlife.com slash terms again text factor to 64,000 all right it is time for the tiktok international moment uh hey if you don't follow us on tiktok do us a solid head over there hit that follow button get addicted upvote our videos mm. really help us uh in uh you know uh conquering the international uh market so there close to six thousand on there come on that's right also push. there's some there's some great original sketches if you have not seen those before all the way at the bottom a lot Pat- of drag a yeah, lot of drag Pat- in the original tiktoks for sure yeah so <laughs> Very entertaining. So check those out. Today we're gonna go to China. Is what's that? It was a phase. Yeah, yeah. Nah, <laughs> not for me. Game. I love. Yeah, no, I'm still in it. Yeah. I'll, you, you give me a dress right now, I'll put it on. Absolutely. Right. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, today we're we gonna go to a show in dresses. Honestly, oh, I'm man, with you, Will. Show. Honestly, show. I'm, I'm we in. Could do just a, a drag show. The sixth grade teacher had to talk me out of walking home in drag after I brought it in to perform a skit, and I wanted to yeah. walk home in that drag. I wear, you shouldn't do I that, might, Pat. I might wear a muumuu. I wore uh, a dress to debate Will on hunting. He was pro hunting and I was anti hunting, so I wore a dress as the anti hunting side. Uh, <laughs> <Clever. yeah. Yeah. laughs> so what that? that'll, that'll comedy. <laughs> but no, they are very lucky that they get to wear dresses, women. I'm just saying, and I so want to take that back from them because it's the most comfortable. I mean, there's so much airflow. Oh, a sundress? You just like a nice, flowy, relaxing muumuu. I mean, you're really twirling. You're good. Yeah. You ever twirled? Uh, yeah. Hmm. It's exhilarating. It's liberating. We got we got testicles and stuff down there. You were saying, Wes? Very comfortable. Yeah. Um, yeah, so today we're going to go to China. Then we're going to go across the pond to the UK for two more. First, to Beijing, China, where the uh, less exciting of the two Olympics, the Winter Olympic Games, are set to take place in 2022 over there. Uh, but some people are even less enthusiastic about the Winter Games than we are, especially Senator Tom Cotton from Texas, who has officially warned 
President Biden that China is going to use the Olympics as a perfect opportunity to harvest the DNA of the world's elite cold weather athletes in a bid to create the perfect winter soldier. You believe that? Nice. Believe so. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. He's um, uh, Arkansas. Senator from Arkansas. He said, he said Texas. No. No. Oh, God. He so, also looks like uh, Dabo Sweeney if he got stretched out. Yeah, he's like a stretched Sweeney. Yeah. Well, I'm wrong. Arkansas. Say it again. Right. Say that sentence again. He's not hey, one uh, of your state I don't really care. I don't really yeah. care. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so he's from Arkansas. He's 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 a, he's a Republican. That's all that really matters, right? Um, so uh, co- uh, Cotton wrote uh, Biden, quote, the Chinese Communist Party reportedly conducted tests to develop biologically enhanced soldiers and intends to use DNA to catapult its biotech companies to market dominance. Um, and on the floors of Congress, Cotton called for... Uh, And on the floors of Congress, Cotton called for the U.S. to boycott the 2022 games for, quote, the safety, security and privacy of our athletes, saying that the Chinese Communist Party considers DNA a vital intelligence gathering objective and strategic commodity. And they would not be able to resist taking advantage of the opportunity of all those athletes over over there. So this is I mean, it lines up with being a stretched out Dabo Swinney. He's he he's not risking his players health or DNA exposure to the communist Chinese regime. So, right. Man. So, okay. Right. This is out there. Crazy. (laughs) Uh, But maybe not. And you know what? Fuck you, Louis Gohmert. You fucking dumbass. It's guys like Louis Gohmert who fuck up uh, potential actual insane schemes that people are doing uh, by crying wolf and asking if you can change the, uh, the, the, the climate change issue by messing with the earth's axis. Right. Like, uh, uh-huh. Yeah, the, Tom Cotton could be right, man. I, I, China could be coming. You're for You're saying a, this is a conspiracy theory. I buy it. Water. Yeah, I buy yeah. it. Why not? Yeah. Well, like, what would they do? They give them like a toothbrush, and they'd say like, "Here, use this toothbrush." Yeah, what's well, the no, point? I'll, I'll, I'll all get into Olympians. Okay. What's the right. not buying okay. in? They're okay. more careful. No. So, it, it, well, it's been reported that China is already collecting DNA from men over there that will, uh, and at, at will, pretty much under the guise they're using it to solve crimes. But according to experts over here, this is a very unique practice that no other country is doing to on regular citizens, or at least admittedly cotton says china will use the cover of drug testing or covid testing to harvest the dna to create a perfect soldier that is capable of not only ha- elite hand-to-hand combat but also the perfect triple axle so oh, no. yeah. nice yeah, yeah it's gonna i be- mean if if all their soldiers are like above five foot five we're gonna know something's up right mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's an old just, old I'm, it's an old stereotype is it height I so, in the chinese i don't think army. so uh, i think no, the you, chinese are little people still. they certainly are still yeah. little people yeah. if, they, if you bring one over here they can get oh tall. they're tiny they're tiny yeah, <laughs> it's like <laughs> a goldfish west you can yeah, put them exactly. in a bigger tank like the minnesota <laughs> t- yeah like in minnesota where all the goldfish are getting huge i saw yeah. yao ming and i figured oh man it's trending no up no, right. no he's a freak yao ming would be 16 feet tall if he was born in the u.s um, next, let's go to uh, to England for a lesson in how to not win the lottery or one that has not yet been proven, at least uh, meet 19 year old Daniel Hussein. No relation. Uh, Hussein, like me, is an avid uh, lottery player who had as a few superstitions and strategies on how to win the lottery. Unfortunately for him, one of the ways he was uh, sure he was going to win the lottery was by making a pack with the demonic forces to kill at least six women every six months in exchange for a future lottery win. Um, and unfortunately for Daniel's sisters, the first two women were them. So, oh. uh, yeah. Oh. yeah. Yes, the psycho was sentenced last week for the murder uh, for the crimes which he committed last June, stabbing his uh, sisters Bibba and Nicole at a park on Bibba's 47th birthday. According to authorities, Daniel murdered his sisters to fulfill, quote, a contract with the demon Mighty King Lucifuge Rofak. Rofakale, and I got a picture of what he looks like. This is an artist rendition of that guy. Um, I'm not going to go into the occult that he's part of, but it's it's all a bunch. It's all crazy. Um, he said that that, that the king Lucifuge uh, would uh, reward him with the Mega Millions lottery win, and police found three lotto tickets in his room, along with satanic symbols and a handwritten book of spells, including ones to make women find him attractive. Um, please say he was planning on going to a summer camp in the United States, but luckily they caught his crazy ass before he could come over here and use his spells and take away my lottery win. So, wow. He keeps looking at the handwritten book. He's like, man, it must be a typo in here. Is that a four or a, oh, man, it's not working. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to have to kill again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, crazy. Why are the ladies throwing themselves at me? What's this, this pick right here? This huh? guy? Yeah. Well, you're, putting the, you're, you're putting the pick up in the wrong thing. You're oh, the clean. Fuck yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Yep, that's yeah. him. 
Oh, and no. the, show the you demonic can see thing. In his eyes. You could see in his eyes that that, that guy is. Show the sim the demons. There's the demon. There he is. There he is. Oh, that's wow. the demon. That's a, um, that's a pretty uh. I mean, it's a pretty menacing demon. It's, it is. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It's fucked up. Um. So I did a quick Google search. Uh, the average height of a Chinese male is five foot four. It's like one of the smallest people in, in the world for sure. Mm -hmm. They're tiny. Five I'm four, five seven over here. No, I'm seeing five four. For example, uh, Argentina's five eight and a half. Australia's five ten. Big people in Australia. Uh, Czech's five eleven. Five Dutch four, like six two. They're five like four really in China. They're little folk. <laughs> what source is that? It's well known, Pat. That they're little <laughs> for men. No way. I don't buy that. Too. Tiny. It's definitely well known. <laughs> don't, buy that. Don't, don't make me Google shoe size because that's probably like a five. <laughs> you think that's more embarrassing? Oh yeah. Average male shoe size in China is probably a five and a half. Yeah, uh -oh. yeah, they're tiny. Um, okay, well, let's let's end with a fun one for this uh, TikTok international moment. Let's go to the fields of Lincolnshire, England, to an event that sounds uh, well, it sounds incredible. Uh, the annual Swingathon, and it's not England's version of the Home Run Derby. It's exactly what you think it is. It's a bunch of horny swingers, um, hundreds, in fact, diverging on the fields for a four-day shag fest like nothing you've ever seen before including a mobile shag dungeon um, and wow. bondage demonstrations. Whoa. Yeah. Um, so all those people are just tented out in that field having yep. an orgy. That's exactly right. Well, uh, <laughs> what do you mean all those people? It was like it was like 15 tents. No, yeah, it's, four, it's 400. No, we're, we're all pull that back. Up. That's this is a, this is just one of the pictures. It's, it's this, they're this, just getting this, set up, Pat. Yeah, they're yeah, just getting that's set just up. Getting going. That's <laughs> okay. Look at the infield. Holy yeah, shit! Lining up. Co lining up Co COVID is thing. COVID put it put a little bit of a strain on it this year. Um, I don't know so, how many porta potties. I think they're just going themselves. Yeah, or it's, each other. Yeah, that's yeah, they go the themselves. Yeah. Conditions aren't great over there. Uh, for two hundred seventy-five uh, dollars, you can get a ticket to enjoy hot tubs, naked singers, fetish demos, jumpy air castles, naked, of course, clay wow. pigeon shooting, wet t-shirt competition, a sweets bar, and the Miss Miss and Mister Swingathon competition. What a goddamn treat, huh? Um, <laughs> it's uh, you know, it's not for everyone though. Apparently, can the you village get a ticket as a as a solo dude, or do you have to be a couple? Almost, no. pre almost predominantly. Well, you, you can. So the, the stipulation, <laughs> the stipulation is is that you have to have three personal um, verifications yeah. on fabswingers.com ah, in order ah. to get in there, in order to get the invite. Uh, yeah, but apparently the villagers in the uh, in this in this town are not happy because they are kept up all night <laughs> with the say. sounds of screaming and moaning from pleasure with their ears glued to the windows. Um, so yeah, but sounds like a. A fantastic time yeah swing a thon no it doesn't swing a thon <laughs> so it's it's like a they're bang banging it out in, in a field man that's such a smelly yeah. that's they're such like, a smelly the, field i mean the infield of that facility looks like it gets so insane at night like yeah Look at yeah. they, I'm oh, telling you, bring it back man. up. Where where's the public restroom? It's it's on no, someone's there, chest. There, there, there has been a few complaints about the facilities there. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you no, what. Look, there's yeah. one. There's one. Oh my god, in the corner. In the there's corner, one yeah, for bottom right. Yeah. There's mm -hmm. one for 400 there's people. Yeah. You don't want to be within smelling distance of anyone's genitals in an activity that has a thon in the name. No, you mm. don't. The stinkathon yeah. is what it should be called. <laughs> yeah, so. Hour one was pretty cool. Hour yeah. two. Uh, <laughs> Hey, they're having a good time. Yeah, I can't keep it hard. The smell. I, <laughs> I mean, you're hot. I'm sorry. It's the smell. It's the smell. You don't care about the smell if you're going to sing it, though. Yeah, hopefully you got a yeah, cold. You might be into the smell. Yeah, right. maybe mm -hmm. the smells would get you going. Yeah. Who knows? Ah, mm. uh, no, I'm gonna wait a few hours and get it stinkier in here. <laughs> Not ripe enough yet. <laughs> I really start hitting my stride you when banging strangers yeah. in hour six. I like you guys going ahead and stinking it up a bit. <laughs> Break it in. For me. I got last. <laughs> I got last. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So that's that. That's the TikTok international moment. All right, nice. guys. After years of fine print contracts and getting ripped off by big wireless providers, if we've learned anything, it's that there's always a catch. So when we first heard about Mint Mobile and they offer premium wireless services starting at just 15 bucks a month, I thought, what's the catch? But uh, we talked to them and we started using their service, me specifically, uh, and it all made sense. 
There's no catch, guys. Mint Mobile's secret sauce is that they're the first company to sell wireless services online only, no overhead. Get that retail store overhead out of here. Uh, those are fees that get passed down to you, but not at Mint Mobile. So that's what's up. Uh, there's the explanation for why it's so cheap, no catch. Uh, and look, you can get on Mint Mobile, swap out the SIM card, uh, keep your uh, contacts. You got high-speed data delivery on the nation's largest 5G network. All plans come with unlimited talk and text, which is insane. Use your own phone, as I said earlier. And if you're not satisfied, seven-day money-back guarantee. So what do you have to lose? Switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless services starting at just 15 bucks a month. And to get your wireless plan for 15 a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, you can go to mint, M-I-N-T, mobile.com slash hard factor. Hard factor, one word. That's mintmobile.com slash hard factor. There you go. Um, okay. Last story, boys. You ever get so mad at something you just want to strangle it? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, no, but I mean, you know, yeah, you have. Come on. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, but, even but if, even if it's in your mind, your better instincts, you have that split in split second, but then yeah. your better instincts kick in. Um, you, you really wanted to strangle it? Yeah, I, I shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> it was a rhetorical question, Will. I knew the answer before I asked it. Yeah. Uh, but the reason I asked it is because I knew the answer would be yes. And if the answer was yes, which in fact it was, then you know how an 81-year-old Illinois man felt uh, when no matter how hard he tried, his dick just wouldn't work, which is pretty <laughs> much the only reason I can assume is why he rubber banded his genitals so tight that he almost lost them, uh, ignoring his wife's pleas for over three days to let his dick get the air it desperately needed to let. I'm going to teach you a lesson. <laughs> I mean, he didn't say that in the article. That's the only reason I can assume, right? <laughs> oh, what? He's what punishing his stupid dick. Mm-hmm. Remember, you guys used to do this to your finger, right? Like you'd wrap a yeah. string around the tip of your finger and it'd get like red. And Mostly you know, when your finger's being bad, right, Wes? That's right. <laughs> I mean, it's all you only do it for a couple minutes, right? right. Like, it's not, yeah. This is shut up and give me another, rub, hand me another rubber band. <laughs> How long was she begging him to stop? Again? Harold, stop it. Three days. <laughs> three, three days. days. <laughs> he rubber banded a stick for three days. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a long fucking did he lo- time. Did he lose it? You're going to hear about that, Mark. Um, the stubborn man who's suffering from dementia. Bummer. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's probably why he gets so mad every time oh. that uh, he forgets that he has erectile dysfunction and his. Why are all these rubber bands on my dick? <laughs> oh no, that's bad dementia. Yeah, he snaps out of it, tries to get a hard on, then euthanized me if I'm 81 and I'm rubber banding my dick. You yeah. Know? Well, he was uh he was initially admitted to the hospital after suffering from a diabetic uh, ketoacidosis, which is a potentially deadly condition related to diabetes, low levels of insulin, blah blah blah. But it was after the admission that the man's wife revealed why they were really there, and that was because her husband had wrapped his scrotum with more rubber bands than a watermelon on YouTube, guys. <laughs> oh, Jesus. He had really <laughs> tightened this thing up. He, had, he probably had like little bubbles coming out of it. <laughs> they were called his testicles. That's a classic move. You go to the doctor for something. You're like, oh, well, I got you here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, doc. Actually, I got, I got a bigger problem. I need Hold to talk to you about. Yeah. Well, poor. Yeah. The poor woman <laughs> was like, Harold, we got to go to the doctor. Well, yeah. For three long days. This is his principled man. Taught his 81-year-old package a lesson, and for three whole days, his wife begged him to let it go. Uh, But not seeing through whatever this man's plan was was not part of the makeup of the greatest generation. He wasn't wasn't listening to shit from this lady. So finally, I guess she was like, you know, oh, you're having a diabetic attack. We got to get you in. And then, bam, flip-flop, take a look at his Johnson. When the doctors asked the man about his strangled package, he seemed confused, dementia, I guess, or maybe he was trying to play it off so the docs wouldn't interfere with uh, his disciplinary action. You know, uh, job wasn't done, but the docs persisted. They took off his pants. And when they finally got a look at the man's kit, his penis had indeed, had indeed been punished. It was severely swollen and it had turned the colors yellow and purple. Get this, guys, signifying that it had begun to die. Oh, oh necrosis. No. Oh. Mm-hmm. He's an LSU oh, no. fan. Um, no. T- suck that tiger dick, <laughs> bitch. I mean, it's like it would be cool. Yellow and purple. Did it, if it stays on, it would be cool if he said that at that moment. Suck that tiger dick. Mm-hmm. He he mm-hmm. swallowed it. It's like a cock ring. Yep, it was did fat. He, did he get to keep it? The dick? Yeah. Well, guys, 
good doctors there. So they, they in order to prevent that kind of situation, Will, a full-on John Wayne Bobbitt scenario, mm. doctors burned out the dead flesh with a hot wire, and they oh excised God. the dead flesh with scalpels, Whoa. which is eerily similar to a facelift. So essentially it was a phallic facelift they gave his dongby. Um, but before the cosmetic cock surgery could commence, doctors had to insert a catheter to drain the more than three days worth of piss that Whoa. had built up in this Whoa. man. Had they waited any longer, it would have started coming out of his eyes. Whoa. It sounds like what they did to the mountain in Game of Thrones. Oh, like when they resurrected him. Yeah. Like he was dead, but then they did. He's this. got like mountain dick. But like, yeah, mm, what they did with right. the mountain when they yeah, brought him back. You think it's yeah. going to be discolored for life with weird scars all over it? I thought yeah. mountain dick's something you want. No, it's going to heal well. perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's, it's eighty one. Perfectly, it's eighty one. Yeah. The dick's eighty one. It's a, it's like it's like you know. He's uh, gonna do it again, isn't he? I'm glad that I lost my first adult tooth, like in my thirties, because if had it had been in the twenties, I'd be like, man, we're running out of runway here. But in my thirties, I'm like, I could ride this out. I could ride this set of teeth out. Mm -hmm. This guy's eighty one. You know, it's not like right. he's swinging his dick around. Uh, he's yeah, trying, he was, but well, he was willing to sounds lose. Sounds like it he is. For, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, luckily, guys, with the help of antibiotics and a five day hospital stay, the man's wiener. Is well, uh, he like he like rang a bell when he gets <laughs> his dicks back. <laughs> he uh, he failed, however, to show up to his follow appointment two weeks later, uh, according yeah, to the medical shit. report. Um, yeah, obviously. I forgot. Yeah, uh, yeah, according to one urologist, uh, who said, quote, in theory, if you'd left it long enough, referring to the rubber bands, the penis could just fall off, but <laughs> I've never seen that happen. But yeah, I he, guess it would just it would just detach. This guy's yeah. gonna be the first case of that. There's going to be a silver alert that they found yeah. this guy's penis and don't know where he is. So I, th I thought no. I got confused because I searched. I said, I was like, man, the comments on this is going to be great. Right. Um, so I searched. I go to Twitter first, usually search uh, penis rubber bands. Uh, and oh, I'm that like, was oh, a mistake. Dope. Found the story. <laughs> nah, I found another story from a man in Japan who did the same thing. He was trying to stop cancer in some way, shape or form. Uh, <laughs> most of the comments were like, well, did it stop the cancer? No, it didn't. Um, did and he then, lose uh, his dick? Yeah, well, he's dead now, so I guess it doesn't uh, matter. But uh, so people are like really into putting rubber bands around their cocks. Yeah, man. Who knows? Um, and that's gonna do the it for Hard Factor. Thank, <laughs> thank you guys so much for listening. <laughs> I'm sorry, Will. What'd you say? Because that cock ring is just like a thick rubber band. Right. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. I guess if you can withstand the thickest the, of rubber bands. I guess if you can withstand the pain of rubber bands around your penis, you know. You don't worry about the cancer or the dementia or anything else going on. <laughs> yeah. I hope we at least had a little fun with it and use the multicolored ones. It's not just like, all uh, ones. <laughs> yeah. it's like when they, when they do the, um, when you, somebody has a rubber band around their wrist, they snap themselves on the wrist. Yeah. yeah. It's like that. Like that. Except on, except 10 of them strangling your penis. They give a new meaning to rubber band a ball. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's the real, this is the, the hardcore version. Yeah, anyone else? Uh, anyone else? Ouch. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We'll wrap it up. Thank you guys for listening to Hard Factor. Uh, fantastic day. The week's almost over, so hang in there. Just ride it out, man. Everything's good. You got first Friday and second Friday coming right up. Then the weekend. Then uh, we'll be back with you next week, as we always are. We love you guys. Uh, yeah, hey, if you haven't, give us a follow on YouTube. Check this out. Here's what I want you to do. Open your browser. Type in www dot youtube.com slash hard factor news that's all you gotta do then there's gonna be a subscribe button there smash that subscribe button for us even if you're even if you don't consume the show on youtube that's fine uh again it's all algorithm based it's all these goddamn computers making the decisions so just you following or subscribing to our channel on youtube will help our effort to grow that space which would be very helpful to us as a whole thank you guys so much for listening while you're there also mm. follow hard factor oh. highlights Yes, also follow the Hard Factor Highlights if you want shortened dosage of our segments on the YouTube. There you go. It's not like we're asking you to put rubber bands on your cocks. Nope, no. not at all. Nope. Just a small rubber band in the form of a subscribe mm -hmm. to our YouTube channels. That's, the wrist, that's just a wrist snap. Two channels. Yeah. Have a great fucking day.